Hello and welcome, my name's Jessica Rose. In this short video, I'm gonna show you how to make a perfect loop in wire for your jewelry making. So to start off with, we're gonna have some wire. This is 0.8 millimeter silver plated wire, but you can use whatever wire you like. And I'm just gonna file the end with a needle file, just a few times to make sure it's nice and flat. Then I'm gonna take my round nose pliers, place my wire in to the pliers. I'm doing it about halfway down, depending on how big you want your loop, you can use any area. And I wanna make sure that there's nothing sticking out the side, so the wire is all the way in the pliers. Now I'm gonna use my thumb to push down and just twist the wire around as far as I can go. So I'm gonna take, take my thumb away. I haven't got a full loop yet because I can't reach that far. So what I'm gonna do is open the pliers, gently bring it round, close them, and now using my thumb, I can see there's a little gap. So I'm just going to close that gap so the loop is fully closed. Now I can take it off the pliers and I can see I have a fully closed loop. Now if like mine it's not completely flat, I can go in with my flat nose pliers and just pat, pat it down just a couple of times, I don't want to damage the wire. And again I've got a lovely loop. But you may notice that it's like a number nine, so it's not centralised. In, in the piece. Sometimes you want a number line loop for certain designs, but often you want it centralized. Like if you're doing uh, ear wires, you'd leave it like this and carry on. Um, but if you're making, say, eye pins, you normally want it in the center. So if I want my loop in the center, all I do is I put, my, put it back onto my pliers, find the point where the tail meets the end, and just bring it to the middle. So right here, it's just coming straight out and I've got the meeting point just in, in there. Now using a finger or thumb, just very gently, I'm gonna to push towards away from my loop and towards the other side. And I'm just checking by eye that that's centralized. If I take it off, I can see it's now right in the center. This is a simple technique, but something that a lot of people don't know about or are not quite sure how to do. So have a little practice with getting your perfect loop. It's used a lot in beading, wire wrapping and all types of jewelry making. So knowing how to do a perfect nine loop and a perfect centralized loop is an important skill. Good luck and happy making.